All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash, the Barnes, the Apostles, and now there's a great millstone for teaching us to more sent truth according to the Bible well, and peace and blessings to afflict of the nation of Israel, take their spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, the brother Isaiah, from the Jemus rally. GMS North Carolina came back with another Lord's willing to find a lesson. <coughs> and uh, today's lesson is going to be, you know, part four of this mini series on how, you know, uh, just the levels of remembering, you know, of remembrance. You know, uh, in the in level four, or, you know, the, the fourth, you know, the... Uh, well, number four, you know, there's another, there's five steps total. So one level higher would be step uh, level four of actually remembering things is to actually speak it. You know, and that's why Yahweh Shema Mashai has put these words in our mouths, you know, this message, and has put the spirit upon men uh, who will never hold their peace, who's constantly going to be... Uh, you know, reminding you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the great and terrible day of Yah by Shema Washai, but also the day of our salvation, right? And all that the Heavenly Father has promised here, wherein we can read about in the scriptures and, uh, uh, you know, uh, learn, right? This is, um, I'm sorry, Revelation 11 11. It says, and after three days and a half, right? <coughs> Three days and a half is a, represents 350 years, right? Where Israel would be in a dead state, you know, in, in captivity, not knowing who they were. From uh, 1619 all the way up to uh, 1969, when uh, Ava, a man known as Ava Bivens, you know, came on the scene preaching, you know, about uh, Yahweh Shema Washai, right? Uh, and who we believe to be Elijah the prophet, according to Malachi the fourth chapter. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, right, which is the Holy Spirit, right, that was sent down from the heavens, as Yahweh I promised, that he would not leave us comfortless. The spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, right, and turned to the minds of, you know, the, the you know, start with the believers, right, you know, the men, the, the prophets that will speak this message, right? It says, And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them, right? And great fear, great terror is has fallen upon the elites of the society as we are speaking the downfall of their kingdom, right? Uh, we're speaking of, you know, the great deliverance that's going to come, with those who um repent, you know, and forsake this world. Um this is a uh, Acts uh five. I'm gonna start verse seventeen, you know, just to kinda read into it a little bit. Then the high priest, right, rose up in all that were with him, which is the sect of the Sadducees. And were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And the reason why I wanted to read into that, you know, because... You know, uh, men, you know, they have a will to stop this truth. They have a desire to come up against, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai and his program that he has, you know, us a part of, you know, the likes of Vocab Malone and these uh, false Israelite groups, you know, that are teaching lies and hypocrisy. But the Lord sent the angel down from the heavens and commanded the apostles to go stand and speak in the temple, right? Go remind my people, we'll speak unto them, you know, 
all the words of this life, right? All the words, you know, of life that is promised, right? Onto the Lord's people. So we're constantly uh, being re reminded, you know, by the servants of prophets, you know, though his messengers, right? We're going to get into it. St. John 6 and 63 is the spirit that quickeneth. Quickeneth means to make alive. The flesh profit nothing, right? The deeds of the flesh don't profit you, right? It's the spirit that quickeneth. It's, it's the spirit that profit you. It says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So these words that we are speaking to you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, they have life. They have the ability to make one alive again, to quicken them, to teach them how to dedicate their lives to serving Yah by Shema Washai, to put them in a constant reminder of the day of the Lord. You know, and all the evils and how this world is only temporary. Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem being the people before it's a place, right? Jerusalem, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the watchmen are the apostles and those of great millstone. And the men on down who are fallen in order, Right? Who are who are who are under the orders that uh, of the men that the heavenly Father set up? It says, "We shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence." I'm gonna get this definition for mention. Right, <coughs> uh, mention to remember. Right, so ye that. You know, make mention, ye that have remembered are to call, to recall, right? Call to mind, right? To be brought to remembrance, be remembered, right? To cause, to remember, remind, right? To make a memorial, make a remembrance, right? So ye that make mention of the Lord, right? It says here in the uh, lexicon, right? You can see it on the screen if you're uh, watching, so I better do the screen recorder so you can actually uh, watch it, right? While you are, you know, doing, you know, taking your notes or whatever you're going to be doing, right? It says, so you can follow along at least, it says to remember, collect, to bring to mind, <clears throat> All right? So the Lord said a watchman that should never hold their peace day, day, day nor night. And those watchmen who make mention of the Lord aren't going to keep silence. They're constantly putting you in remembrance of who your power is, who Yahweh Shemah is, that he's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? <clears throat> the God of Israel, the God of our forefathers. And we're here in America, in Babylon the Great, serving out a punishment, right? And we fell away to who we were. But now the Lord is constantly reminding us who we are, you know, though the world may, you know, try to ridicule us and downplay the significance of us being out there on the highways and hedges. The Lord has put the spirit upon men who are going to constantly be reminding you who you are. You know, you're an Israelite, right? And being an Israelite, that comes with a standard that comes with a responsibility. They have the old saying, with great power comes great responsibility. You know, that's here in the scriptures. Too much is given, much is required. All right? Where do you think they get these quotes from? And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right? So Jerusalem is being made that praise in the earth again. Right? By who? This is Psalm 68 and 11. It says, the Lord gave the word. Right? The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. I'm going to read it and you know, see. The Lord gives the word and a great army brings the good news. <laughs> you know? I didn't think of a company, you know, company of soldiers, you know, army of hosts. Wow. You know, so, 
you know, uh, watch the the Lord, <laughs> you know, uh, they don't have published here. I'm, I'm not sure why they don't have it. But, um, oh, published, the Wali Abba Shimon Shai says, to bear news, bring tidings, publish, preach, show forth. It says, to gladden with good news. Mm. All right? To receive good news, to announce salvation as good news. That's what we're doing. We're announcing the salvation of the Lord. You know, the, uh, the salvation of the Lord's people, which the Lord is going to bring. Right? So, great was the company of those that published it. Right? We are the Lord, uh, like Ezekiel 37, right? And I saw a seething great army stand upon their feet. Right? And an, uh, an army, they're in order. <laughs> you know? That's why uh, Jake goes, you know, Jake that got a little bit more uh, sense, you know, brothers, you know, been in that world. You know, you you learn order, right? In in the you know in the military, right? Well, how much more in this truth when it says great was the company of those that published it, right? <laughs> in the eyes of the Lord, you know, though Israel may uh be not gathered, we shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord because we're doing His will, right? We're constantly speaking about Yahweh Shai, you know how He, you know came on the scene and uh, died for our sins, right? And he's the savior of the nation of Israel. And now the heavenly father had mercy upon his people by giving us Yahweh Shai. This is what we're constantly reminding our people, right? It says Second Corinthians, and this is why speaking, you know, something is so powerful, right? You're constantly, you know, being reminded. Why do you think Esau even pushes so many ads and things and commercials upon you so you can be constantly reminded to go buy this to obey right they show you that in the movie um this had a i can i can picture the movie oh uh among uh, they they live yeah they live that's what the movie's called they live they show you that in the movie they live the movie <laughs> and who lives the elite Right. But really, you know, it was saying that those who put on the glasses that they live. Right. They're actually alive. They came to life. You know, you know, you can look at how you see it. Right. You know, uh, but, um, you know, those who put the glasses on, they, they live. <laughs> right. They they saw it. And then then what? They try to wake people up in the movie and then. You know, only those who with the eyes to see are going to, you know, really, you know, understand the importance in ears to hear. Right. That's why we were given ears to hear, because there would be men constantly speaking, you know, the words of life onto us to constantly put us in remembrance. You know, the great and terrible day of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. This is Second Corinthians 4 and 13. We having the same spirit of faith. According as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai, and shall be, I'm sorry, and shall present us with you. You know, so. You know, that was just pretty much it. You know, the importance of uh, uh, speaking, you know, uh, these words, you know, yeah, uh, you can see, you know, if, if you know, it, it, it's not really that complicated. You know, you're constantly talking about something, right? You're going to constantly be reminded about it, right? And that's why the Lord has put the spirit on uh, men to constantly uh, bring it out. Right, men that would never hold their peace, you know, uh, to be instant, in season, out of season, men that will be apt to teach, right? Men that will understand that they don't get this knowledge for themselves only, but for all those that seek learning, you know, that they may uh, 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 preach the gospel, right? What did Yahweh Shai say in the Greek, you know, uh, really, you know, Apostle Elder Tahar brought it out. Great Commission was really in Matthews 10. You know, but, um, you know, the Lord, you know, 
brought it, told them here as well. This is Matthew 28 and 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And that's a very, that's a, that's a, that's a powerful statement right there. He said, All power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. <laughs> you know, imagine being there. You know, when Yahweh Shai told you that, you know, told his disciples that, you know, uh, you know, that's that's it. and we 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 were being reminded that all power has been given unto Yahweh Shai in heaven and on earth, right? That's that's why these things were written down so that we could be reminded, but then one one might forget, right? And that's why you constantly have men speaking it onto you. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Right? So that's what we're doing. We're we're teaching our people by speaking on to them. You know, and um another way to teach or the highest level of remembering something is actually living it. You know, and um Lord's willing, you know, uh, that that'll be the last well that will be the last lesson. Uh, in this mini series, you know, actually, uh, uh, living, you know, being being that living example, being that living uh, remembrance, you know, that's what Israel is supposed to be that that monument, you know, to remind the nations that the heavenly Father is alive and well by the order that we will show amongst our people, right? But let's close it out. It says, I, it says, and lo, I am with you always even unto the end of the world. Amen. Right? So, the Lord is always here. Right? He's, he's constantly with us and here in the uh, the ends of the world, the other most parts of the earth here in America. Right? And we're constantly uh, reminding our people that he's uh, soon to return. With that, Lord's one, you're edified. Thanks, I'm going to say Shalom.